Do you know how to spot a scam? You have to look for some common red flags, including how the scammer asks for payment. Hi, my name is Greg Olson, and I'm the director of the New York State Office for Aging. And I'm Dan Lyon of the Fraud Scam Program Manager at Lifespan of Greater Rochester. Scammers often give themselves away by the type of payment they'll ask for. They'll insist upon cash, gift cards, bank and or wire transfers, peer-to-peer -peer payments such as Venmo and PayPal, Bitcoin and or cryptocurrency. But don't worry if you don't know how to do these types of transactions. A scammer will gladly hold your hand and walk you through the process of completing a transaction while on the phone with you. And that's when you know it's time to hang up because you're giving away personal information and you will be scammed. Scammers are smart. Be smarter. And if you lost money, call 911 to report to your local police department. Or visit our website in the New York State Office for Aging social media for more resources to become scam smart and learn the steps that you can take to recover from a scam. We see um, a lot of folks with um, fraudulent checks that they bring in um, that are, they're asked to send money somewhere. Um, that's the largest one that we see. Uh, the other situations that we see are um, elder adults giving out their online banking credentials and allowing fraudsters to log into their online banking. If we need to give a prevention tip for our older adults, what would be the one prevention tip? Um, always be suspicious of everything and, and double check everything. If I wanted to come into your bank as an older adult and I asked for 10,000 cash today, what preventative measure? Oh, our tellers um, are trained to ask questions and, and make inquiries to try to identify the signs of a fraud. Sue, as a fraud manager here at this credit union, what prevention measures would you, and how often do you see it happening? Um, we see this every day. Um, the, the All banks and credit unions are seeing a lot of this. Um, and we ask a lot of questions of our account holders. Um, we, inqu we inquire of what they're doing with the money, where they're sending the money, um, and we try to prevent the money from going out. We try to educate them in, as to what the fraud might be um, and try to prevent them from sending that money before they take that loss. If there's resources in this town or this, this county, what resource would you send them to? Um, I would send them to Lifespan or the New York State Office of the Aging for more information.